up guys welcome back to the channel i thought that we should kick this video off a bit different because today i want to do a big shout out to a partner of mine and that is msi gaming nordics so as you can see in front of me <coughs> i got three different laptops from msi gaming uh, to explain why i have that is uh, because this is the old one this is g uh, ge63 raider uh, this is the computer that i've been using for the last uh, i would say uh, three years uh, this is the computer that I've been editing all my vlogs, uh, I've been analyzing all of the data from the race car uh, I've been uh, doing all the content for social media and stuff like that on this one uh, But as you know technology always speeds up and uh, has an incredible progress in performance So the guys over at MSI Gaming decided on giving me the chance to upgrade the computer So uh, that's why they sent out this one uh, This is the GE65 Raider uh, this is the computer I will be using from now on and this is their latest one the GE66 Raider <coughs> uh, it's a really beautiful computer so to talk a little bit shortly about the specs <coughs> this is uh, the GE63 VR 7RF Raider uh, this has a 1070 GTX GeForce graphics card and a 7th gen Intel uh, GPU and the processor uh, <coughs> really nice computer. It's been really reliable. It features the, all the good stuff like the Steel Series with the RGB light keyboard. Uh, everything that is cus customizable, uh, like MSI seems to offer every time. Really good computer. Been loving it, uh, but it's time to move up a bit. <coughs> so the computer we're changing to is a GE65 Raider uh, 70, uh, 95F. Uh, this has a uh, 2070 RTX uh, graphics card and the uh, 9th gen Intel uh, uh, processor. A uh, really nice computer, also has the RGB keyboard of course, the 240 hertz uh, display. Uh, it's a bit more compact, more lightweight which makes it easier for me to carry around uh, and also more performance with the cooling and all of that stuff. Uh, the last computer is this one, this is their latest model. Uh, this is the gen after the G65. Uh, this is the G66 Raider. It features a 3080 RTX graphics card and uh, the 10th generation Intel Core processor. Uh, features this awesome uh, customizable RGB light. Uh, looks really nice. Uh, also has the 240 Hz uh, display. Uh, even more lightweight, uh, I really love the design of this one, it has a, a nice grey uh, finish on it and uh, it's even more lightweight than the G65. Uh, I just wanted to do a shout out to them <coughs> because they've been supporting me for 3-4 to four years and uh, they're uh, an awesome company that helps everything uh, so much in my everyday life because being able to have a laptop that can do everything makes it so much easier when it comes to the editing uh, when I'm out of an event and stuff like that because if I go to like bull race or god appeal and I have to do some content right away it's uh, good to know that I use this for everything I have all the presets all the programs installed I just take it up plug it in and start working and uh, that's a really crucial part for me because if I go to a big event like bull race and I have to travel for maybe a week and a half uh, then I actually can do full vlogs uh, while I'm on, on the trip. So that's really good. So that was everything I wanted to say. Big shout out to MSI Gaming Nordics. Make sure you follow them on Instagram and uh, give them a like. Because if you support them, you also support me. So that's it for today. Let's uh, get uh, on to this episode and uh, hope you enjoy it. Welcome back guys. We're back in the show. As you saw yesterday, we got this bundle up. Uh, so today's uh, task is to cover it with uh, this uh, wooden board. So Rickard is uh, painting the underside white because we thought it would be a good idea to get it white on the underside to help with the lighting a bit. So uh, me and Eric is going to cut them up in size and uh, then we're going to mount them. So that's pretty much it. Let's do it. One point.
morning guys uh, right now we're outside the old shop uh, this is the first time we have the trailer on the v-class uh, and uh, you might guess what that means and uh, that means today we're uh, officially moving the cars to the new shop uh, the shop is not ex uh, completely done uh, we're still lacking some uh, installation for the lighting and some uh, wiring for the yeah for all the different parts of the garage but uh, we need to move the CLK down and also Rickard's uh, RX7 because he, his car is standing outside and my CLK is blocking off the old garage uh, so we need to get that out so we can uh, pack everything up and start moving stuff over to the new garage so today me and Linda are going to uh, uh, drive the cars over there and uh, get them inside the new shop so exciting times
starting the work that's uh, going to be one of the roughest parts of this uh, garage swap. Um, so the new shop is uh, almost completely ready to move in really. It's like just small details like painting some sm small stuff and uh, yeah, finishing touches before it's uh, possible to move in. Uh, so I, I'm about to start the work that's going to be dreadfully long I think uh, because I have so much parts that has to be gone through and uh, hopefully throw away as much uh, parts as possible that I don't need because as you can see here we have quite a lot of stuff so uh, you may ask why what are all this stuff am I a hoarder or something well I'm a bit of a part shorter when it comes to the M104 engines because I have been running them for so long and um, you try to get some extra engines you get some extra parts that are good to have and yeah it saved me a bunch of times but sometimes you have to go and be more crew <laughs> what's it called like honest with yourself and tell yourself that you have to throw away some parts that you never will gonna use so I'm trying to sell as much as possible that uh, has some value and then I will throw away stuff that are like duplets or threeplets that I don't need so for instance here are a huge amount of external parts like uh, uh, belt tensioners, uh, yeah, harmonic dampers, all of that stuff. Uh, a lot of internal stuff as well as like uh, con rods and pistons and stuff that I will probably never use. I got uh, four blocks here. Uh, three of them are okay. Uh, that one is an AMG block that has been used as a mock-up engine. Might get rid of that. Uh, it has a cracked uh, thread for the cylinder head or the yeah the head bolt uh, then we have a cylinder head here a 3.2 liter uh, we got a more heads uh, we have a 3.6 amg another 3.6 amg and a crank for that as well uh, we have a 3.2 head 3.2 head a 2.8 crank and uh, we have a huge amount of uh, camshafts as well like the amg intake and exhaust and uh, a whole lot of 3.2 and 2.8 liters camshafts as well so as you can see i have way too much of most things so i will try to minimize as much as possible possible because i don't want to do the same mistake as we did when we moved into this shop uh, which was that we just moved everything over we never had the time to prep the garage or like build proper storage and stuff like that so as you saw in the other shop or the new shop we have put a big storage compartment on top of the right side of the garage. Uh, this is kind of the only thing that we were going to use to store stuff because we don't want stuff laying around all over the floor like we have here. So uh, enough talking about that. I need to get to work and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Peace and Good morning guys, today is the day that we're going to be moving to the new shop. We got uh, Richard here, Linda behind the camera and I'm here, Sebastian is coming soon. Uh, so just want to give you an update, I've been working the last couple of days together with the guys just to sorting out all of my shit and getting to throw away as much as possible. Uh, and today is the day we're going to uh, ship everything over to the new shop, get it in there and uh, tomorrow we're going to clean out the shop and on monday we're leaving leaving off the keys for this shop and we're permanently going to live in the new one so that's going to be good so first off we're going to throw this shit away because we've been using this for a lot of years it's not good but we that was the only thing we managed to have so get it away get some new stuff let's go Oh, 
Well, that kind of wraps it up. Uh, this is uh, the last evening in the garage that we have been using for seven years. Seven years, yeah. So, uh, it's been a lot of project in here. Uh, sorry for the echo, but I uh, can't do much about it. Um, so we've been cleaning all the weekend and uh, getting everything out. Uh, it hasn't been looking this fresh since we moved in probably, but it's not perfect, but hopefully, the landlord approves of it. So, uh, exciting times moving into the new shop. Hopefully, uh, everything becomes like we want it to. Mm. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. good night from the old shop. Yeah, and uh, thank you for all this time and everyone that has been involved. So, uh, tomorrow we hand over the keys, and uh, that's it for tonight. Talk to you soon.